Oh, it was Jesse. I was going to stay out of this discussion, but there was a video that I watched with, I can't remember the lady's name, but some girl was just calling her a fucking bitch and this and that about basically over the whole abortion thing. About pro-choice, you know, it's not a baby, this and that bullshit. You know, that whole my body, my choice, whatever, you know. I get to control what I do with my body. Yeah, you do when it's just your body. You know, women have nine, if I remember right, ways to prevent pregnancy. Men have two. Three, I guess, if you... I don't know how long the men's birth control bullshit's been out, but two, technically, but... So you had nine ways of taking care of your body and nine ways to prevent a human being from being formed in your body with you know both of your DNAs but you're too damn lazy to take any of them you have a condom birth control IUD contraceptive implant contraceptive injection morning after pill contraceptive ring diaphragm and sterilization men have a condom and vasectomy and then if you want to count birth control pills for men so you failed at all nine ways of preventing that baby. And then you act like you're the only one that has the right to make the decision of your body. Technically, the man only had two. He had less options than you. You had nine. If he wants to have that baby, he should get first choice if you ask me. You know, he only had two ways of avoiding it. You had nine ways of avoiding it. And if he wanted that baby with his DNA, I think he should get first choice. That's just all there is to it. You know, you wouldn't have to do that if you just act like a goddamn adult and realize two people made that baby. You can't create a baby on your own. So you should discuss it with him rather than sitting there throwing it in his face that it's your damn body because you didn't think that through very well or you didn't take any, you know, efforts to stop it. You know, stop being this fucking conceited bitch and thinking about your damn self. That baby wasn't created just by you. The only other way a man has it is just not having sex. But if you're in a relationship and you're having sex, then you still had nine, well, seven more options than he did to make sure that that didn't happen. But you were too goddamn lazy to take any, any of those precautions. And now it's not your body anymore. It's two bodies. So and it's not you want to that clump of cells bullshit. That clump of cells wasn't in you before. So it's obviously something. If I was freaking building a model car or fucking model ship or some shit, and my my kid comes in and just destroys it before it's finished, it would have been a fucking ship if he wouldn't have touched it. Just like that baby is going to grow into a baby if you wouldn't have done what you did. So get off your goddamn high horse. You can still sleep around. You can just do it while he, your man or fling or whatever, is taking care of his child. You know, it's ridiculous. You women are literally something else today. It's, it's unreal that you want to sit up there and scream. That, that, that woman was screaming and cussing this lady out calling her a fucking white bitch, this and that. Because she wants to have an abortion. Yeah, I should be allowed to have an abortion. And then she's, of course, we always got to bring the rape thing into it. But even with the rape situation, that baby didn't have any options in that situation at all. Yeah, the woman was raped. She's a victim. But that kid is, is not anything, should not have to suffer the consequences of that. I think some situations do warrant having a, an abortion, but I think that's only when you know they're going to grow up with, with deformities or something like that. But just doing it because you were too lazy to take a precaution, no, that's just pathetic is what it is. When you have so many ways now of not getting pregnant and you're just too lazy, and that seems to be a, a huge thing, 
with welfare people, whether you want to admit it or not, this is truth. Because the more kids you have, that's if they don't kill them. The more kids you have, the more food stamps you get, the more tax money you get back. But they just don't want to buy the stuff. I mean, I think you can get condoms for free now at the damn health department. But then again, you got a medical card, and most of that shit's free anyway. So I, I, I don't get it. I mean, just standing up here and acting like, you know, it's, it's your body only, and that man can go fuck himself. I think it needs to be turned around now. It's a little, we're a little past those days. You have way more options than a man does. And a man is also told to shut the fuck up. It's none of your business. Even though that sperm, it has his DNA in it, and that child is his as well. And I personally believe if he wants to keep that child, he should have first rights, regardless of your damn body. Your body will heal. The DNA created between you two people and creating that child, it's not going to be the same anywhere else. So it's that's a unique child there. I don't know why you women are so against having kids. You know, every person that's alive today on this planet came out of your goddamn legs. You're responsible for every human being on the planet. Not trans women, either. If we need to go down that route, let me shut that down real quick before someone throws that in my goddamn face. You trans women ain't having shit, so quit faking it. But you think women would be proud of having the ability, and the only ability, the only people that can create life. But then you want to take advantage of it and then just act like you're above everybody else. And if they want to have a say with what your body does, you know, fuck them. Yeah, well, fuck you. You should have thought about that before you created that child. You have every option known to man to not do that. But you choosing all of them, or ignoring all of them, just because you know you can go have an abortion, yet you're a fucking murderer is what you are. I mean, that, that's premeditated murder is what it is. Because you're taking no effort to stop that child from being formed. So I think people need to start fight, fighting back against you fucking conceited bitches. And, I mean, that, that's kind of the problem. You, you, your heads are too big right now. Someone needs to knock it down a few notches. If it takes trans women to do it, then I'll, I'll be nice to them for a while. But somebody needs to. But I doubt they will either, because in their heads they can get pregnant too. So I can't wait till we see it. At, a trans woman on TV arguing with it like a normal man pretending like he's pregnant because I'm, I'm shocked that hasn't happened already and him saying that it's none of his business even though you're two men fucking idiots I swear to god these people are so fucking stupid that's it that's all I want to say I don't want to get into women shit because we already know women are women and men are not even real anymore so but I had to say that, so thanks.